The VNA California's mission has been the same since 1932, to serve wherever and whenever we're needed. Known for excellence in nursing, the VNA California is one of the few nonprofit organizations in Southern California that offers a childhood bereavement program like the Morningstar Centers. Um, I first came to Morningstar when I was 15, after my dad died. I started coming to Morningstar probably around the end of 2005 after my grandfather had passed away. I started coming to Morningstar in 2005 after my dad had passed away. Uh, I started going to Morningstar when I was 13. My aunt passed away when I was 11. She was really close to me and it was very sudden. I came to Morningstar when my baby sister died. I came to Morningstar due to the loss of my brother. What I liked about Morningstar was I was with like-minded people, kids and teens who had lost loved ones or friends um, and didn't really have anyone else to turn to. So at Morningstar I was actually able to meet kids my age and be able to interact with them weekly and like they're kids that I talk to outside of Morningstar as well like we actually developed friendships. Um, the special factor of Morningstar really came to be having other kids around uh, that had the same or similar event happen in their life. Um, being able to play and not be judged, being able to deal with my emotions. So we all got together and we could talk together and express our feelings without feeling judged or alienated. It was really because of Morningstar and the activities that I did in Morningstar that helped me express my grief in a better way and a safe way. Morningstar gave me an outlet to be me again. Coming into Camp Aaron and being kind of tucked up in this place in the world where you don't have cell phones and you don't have outside influences and friends and Facebook and at the time MySpace was still around and you got to really just be and you got to be you and feel normal and not feel judged like the kid in the fish pole whose dad had just died. I was really nervous about coming to Camp Aaron for the first time. I'd never really been to a summer camp before like this and uh, I was kind of scared, had thought it might be kind of weird, but I came and I had a blast. I met some amazing people and I'll never forget it. I remember being, you know, just emotion after emotion, but the fun moments, kind of overriding the sad moments and being so surprised because I thought I was just gonna nonstop cry the whole weekend. And I was so wrong about what I thought uh, Camp Aaron was gonna be about. I felt that everybody had a connection with grief and in one way or another understood you. For me anyway, I felt like I finally got to be me again. I was able to actually just be heard, to be able to express myself and find who I really was. And I'm really glad that I came. So it's something that is a really great experience that I think everyone should experience. I chose to be a big buddy because I looked back on when I came to Camp Aaron and saw how much of a difference my big buddy made on my life. I wanted to be that much of an influence on another child and let them know that they weren't alone. I came back in 2009 as a big buddy for the third year and I've been coming back for camp ever since. I no longer live in California but I fly back every year from South Carolina because not being here is not an option. It's special to me to be back at Camp Aaron, to be there now as a support system, and to be there when they need to talk, or if they need to cry, or if they need to laugh. I love being a big buddy because I get to help out kids who are feeling the same things that I was feeling um, when I was attending Camp Aaron. And to be able to ex talk to them and explain to them that you know, I, I, I've felt those things too, and, and to help them out and to see how much they appreciate it, it it's, it's a great feeling. 
Well, when I came here to Camp Aaron, I was one of the rebellious kids. I didn't want to be here, didn't want to participate, kind of sat in the corner for a little while. So now as a volunteer, I'm kind of able to spot those kids, kind of see their attitude. Even though I was able to warm up during my weekend at Camp Aaron, some of these kids still want to stay in their shell. So I'm finding myself as a volunteer, being able to reach out to those kids specifically, get to talk to them, get to listen to them more importantly. I was given so much from Morningstar and Camp Aaron and they got me through my dad dying and then a couple years later they got me through my mom dying and the people and the volunteers gave me so much at Morningstar and Camp Aaron that I want to give them something too because they gave me a new life when my old one ended. Mm -hmm.